thanks for joining me again. And if you are like me and being diagnosed as a celiac and <clears throat> you uh, have the odd moment of being super nice or super horrible, yep, join the game. Until I actually realized how the food was affecting my mood and this could have been, I could have been up and high as a kite or I could have been down low and just awful to be around. And it wasn't until I actually started realizing that the food was taking so much um, of a toll on my body because what was happening, it, I don't even know the science of it. It was just the fact that I felt I was very short tempered all the time or very um, erratic to the point that when I decided to do something, I wouldn't really think about it properly. I would just be more reactive rather than responding. And what I felt was I wasn't getting the right results. And this affected me everywhere in my life. And I wasn't really understanding this until I've been strict and sort of started taking note that my temper tantrums, being a brat, are getting less and less and less. And, and the reason being is because I'm controlling what I'm eating. And as soon as you start to understand, the less you incorporate gluten in your diet, your body will be working the way it should be. So your sugar levels are right. Your serotonin levels are level because you're happy continuously because you're not in pain. But also as well, your brain isn't fogged and you're not crazy and you're not being like this weirdo. I would be the one who would take a couple of sips of beer and I'd be drunk. And I could never understand. I would be always the one that would be a little bit off the wall. And we could never understand. Or I'd be the one that would be the drama queen because I had a tummy ache or this. And we could never understand it. But as I started taking food diaries and as soon as I actually stick, uh, I'm sticking to a strict gluten-free diet, my mood swings are much more um, on a level. I'm more or less the same all the time you know obviously I do get excited I do get highs I do get lows I'm a normal person I'm a human being I'm not perfect but what I'm aware of is what I was eating was changing my moods and the more I, the stuff I was eating that I shouldn't have been doing I craved it even more and it was feeding something in my stomach and in my brain which actually wasn't serving me so the more you do this if you start taking a food diary from the days that you were eating the gluten and I would say you give yourself a week, start watching, but to really sort of notice it through in six weeks, you will see a difference and people will see a difference in your personality. I think for me, the most important thing is to do a food diary. Take pictures of you, take other people's questions of you, because the thing is at the end of the day, when you, you don't see yourself that people see you. I'm continuously aware of it because I know how I was and I don't want to go back down that route again. So for me, what I do now is I know what I'm eating. I drink plenty of water just in case I do get glutened. I always have a packet of whisker pan just in case I get glutened. Um, that way then, get other people to start telling you how you were and how you want to be, but also well, start thinking how you want to be. So for more of enjoying what you're doing, be aware of it. Start taking note. The food that you eat makes you happy and stay in a good, happy mood. Eat more of it. The food that makes you unhappy, eat less of it. It's that simple. So what I would say now is start taking a food diary. Take a video camera of yourself like I'm doing now. See how you look. See what end result. Look at your skin and you will be so happy. And then your hair will come back. Now, for more information, you can come and visit me on my website, on my web page, Growing Hair from the Inside Out, ng.com. And you can go to my Facebook, you can go to my Instagram, and you can go to my LinkedIn page. Look forward to looking after you in the future. I hope this has helped you.